welcome back to max git in this session we'll see how to write first c program but before that let me ask you two simple questions why do we write programs we write programs to instruct computers and how to instruct computers we instruct computers through programming languages Dear friends, programming languages are the formalized set of instructions and rules which allow us to communicate with computers. The programming languages enable us to utilize the computational powers of computers to ask them to do a particular task or to solve a problem, maybe to automate things, to create some applications or to explore new possibilities. But remember, different programming languages may have different syntax and semantics. Even though programming languages may have different syntax and semantics, they all serve same purpose. One is to instruct computers. Second one is to control the behavior of the computers. We need to understand that all the programming languages typically come with some basic functionalities. That is, every programming language will have some set of built-in features and libraries. These basic functionalities serve as the building blocks for creating more complex and sophisticated programs. As a programmer, it is your responsibility to combine and manipulate these basic elements using the language specific syntax the construct provided by the language and the libraries provided by the language to create or develop advanced functionalities and applications okay let us see the first c program we start with comments see whatever you write after two forward slashes that is considered as a single line comment We also have multi-line comment. For that, we have to use forward slash star. Then you have to write your statement. Then you have to end it with star and forward slash. So these are multi-line comments. See, the single-line comments and multi-line comments are ignored by the compiler. C program typically start with this hash include stdio.h. See the reason is C by default does not have any input output capabilities. The input output functionalities are provided by the library functions. And the library function which provide this input output capabilities is this stdio.h. Similarly, the C standard libraries provide different functionalities like string manipulations, mathematical operations, memory management, etc. By default, C does not have these functionalities or these capabilities, but by including these standard libraries, we can achieve those functionalities. The purpose of stdio.h is to get the input output capabilities like i can use printf function scanf function which are available in this stdio.h we also have hash defined directives you can simply consider this as a replacement text for example generally we use the capital letters for this hash defined uh, macros or the symbolic constant of course, it is not necessary, but generally we use the capital letters for this. So, in your program, wherever MSG is there, that is replaced by whatever string or whatever I am writing here. Here, what I am writing is welcome to max gate. So, wherever in your program you find MSG, that is replaced by welcome to max gate. Now, C program contains one or more functions and one of the function must be main function and C program execution starts with main function. Okay. 
and for any function we have three important parts one is name of the function here the name of the function is main and the arguments taken by the function so the argument taken by the function are written within this parenthesis here there are no arguments so we don't write anything and this int tells you what this particular function returns that is the function after completing it acts its activity it is going to return some value that value is integer value so that int tells you it is going to return an integer value <coughs> this is your function block this is your function block within this flower brackets whatever you write that is the code for main function my dear friends okay here i am using printf function which is available in stdio.h if i want to use printf i need to include this stdio.h my dear friends <clears throat> now here printf will have the following syntax here we have the format string and arguments the arguments are optional if you use any specifiers corresponding to the specifier we need to have a argument my dear friends otherwise we can simply write any string that string will be printed as it is of course there are some non printable characters which give you some special printing effects like escape sequences we'll see that okay dear students so dear students will be printed as it is but if i want to print the next statement or next value or next message whatever is there in the next line i have to use this backslash n backslash n stands for next line it is a non printable character but what it will do is the remaining print values will be printed in the next line and remember that every c statement should end with a semicolon now one more printf statement here i am writing msg that is this msg will be replaced by this welcome to max gate that is done by pre processor my dear friends you don't have to worry about it and put a semicolon because the function is returning integer value because you are not trying to return anything you can simply say return zero and put a semicolon this is your first c program my dear friends let us save it and run this program if you have any errors it will give you the errors otherwise it will run and print what is required so obviously it is printing dear students welcome to max gate now we can explore this printf statement little further <coughs> see printf as i mentioned it will have a format string and optional arguments see in the format string i want to print some values i want to print x is equal to some number of course phi directly you can print but you want to take that value from the argument then you can give a conversion specifier that is this conversion specifier tells that you are going to take an integer argument and that argument value is printed here that is corresponding to this percent ld you can give some value here maybe some variable value which may be defined and taken or you may simply write some value here that 50 will be printed as it is so this conversion specifiers if you use correspondingly you have to keep an argument here you can have multiple values say y is equal to okay you can say percentile c percentile c means a character you may print a character here my dear friends okay generally characters are represented within single quotes my dear friends and end and put a semicolon so what it will do it will print i want to print x is equal to percentile d percentile d means corresponding to this it will search for an argument 50 will be printed percentile c corresponding to this it will print this particular character okay but remember dear student is printed in the first line backslash n means remaining part is printed in the next line that is this is printed in the next line but here you not kept any backslash n this is printed immediately after this this is printed immediately after this so let us run this particular program and see the output 
and you see dear student welcome to max gate because i not given any space or anything it is directly printing the print effect is immediately after this it is printing suppose you want to get this particular statement in the next line you can use backslash n this is called escape sequence backslash n for new line and let us run this particular program now and you can see dear student welcome to max gate i want to print x is equal to 50 y is equal to e see this conversion specifiers plays very very important role we'll discuss these specifiers in more detail in later classes